I am Felicia McKee from Tennessee. I got pregnant at 17 and went from becoming an honor student to becoming suicidal. When I first saw my pregnancy test results, I smiled. My first response was happiness. I remember going to the store and opening cooler for milk. I was thinking I needed to take care of myself and my baby. I will never forget that moment. And I would give anything if I could just go back to that one moment in time when all I was thinking about was the well-being of myself and my baby. I was just too ashamed to tell anyone that I had gotten pregnant. I didn't want anyone to know I had been having sex. I just, despite my feelings and despite my reservations about abortions, I decided to have an abortion anyway. I felt inside that it was wrong. I knew that it was wrong. And if I had only told my grandmother, she would have understood. She would have loved me anyway. She would have helped me. And I would have my 20-year-old son, Daniel, with me today. But he's not here. I took his life and all the choices that he could have made. The abortionist did not give me any details about the procedure. I was not told my child had a beating heart fingers and toes. They just put me on a table and I will never forget the sound of that section and the agony of what was happening to me. So I just laid there and cried. My mind was screaming to stop, but it was too late. I knew as soon as it was over what I had done. That was the single most worst moment in my entire life. The pain and cramping and bleeding was nothing compared to the way I felt inside. My body had just went through a very unnatural process. My body that was designed to nurture the tiny life inside had just been forcibly opened and that life had just been stripped and cut away. Once home I couldn't sleep or eat for days. The first time I went out I saw a woman pushing a stroller and I was physically sick. Right then I wanted to step out in front of a car. I wanted to drive back to the abortionist and tell them I wanted my baby back. I wanted to tell them I changed my mind but guess what? It was too late. I couldn't. They did what I paid them to do. I paid to destroy two lives, my babies and mine too. I was left on this earth to deal with what I had done alone. So I stepped it away and told no one. I kept silent for 20 years. Well, here I am. I have not forgotten my baby and I have not forgotten the experience. I knew God had forgiven me because I kept asking him over and over, but I had not forgiven myself. I've now accepted his forgiveness and I have been delivered from my pain, guilt, and my shame. It also helps to know that I will see Daniel in heaven again. You know, it was not a coincidence that I was a happy and fun teenager before my pregnancy and then I, the next day I wanted nothing more than to be dead the day after my abortion. The choice I made was devastating, but I want those thinking about abortion to know there is help, love, and life, not just for our babies, but for ourselves. And we have got to stick together, no matter what our backgrounds or life experiences. That's going to make what we're doing successful. And a message to those who told me just to get over it. Well, I did, and I'm selling no more. Yeah.